And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Azir Nasus. Let's head back on over to a Mono Sharima deck, play some Buried Sun Disc. It's been a little while since we've played at some Sun Disc. And um, we're going to try to restore the Sun Disc and we're going to try to get the Emperor's deck if we're able to do that. Um, we haven't really ever been able to do that. I don't think I've ever had the Emperor's deck. Anytime like, that I've come close to getting it, my opponent's conceded, unfortunately. Um, but I think this should be a pretty good deck. So we saw that after the last balance patch, that there was a ton of aggro decks right away. And now recently, we're seeing all the anti-aggro decks starting to pop up. We're seeing a lot more mid-range decks, a lot more like Demacia Targon style decks, um, more Shadow Isles decks, stuff like that as people fight aggro. And so what that does mean is longer games and you know maybe more time for your Sun Disc to count down. Uh, we also have um, this esteemed Aerophant, which I actually haven't really put in a deck before. But now this advances the Sun Disc three rounds. You know, it was only just two before. So now with it advancing three, if we play like two of these Aerophants and, you know, advance them three each, that's six. That can start like really leveling up our Sun Disc where maybe we only need to level up one champion. Because, um, you know, like with the 25, you'd have to think that if you only leveled up one champion, that's still 15 other turns. And, you know, the games don't really last 15 turns. Like, that's difficult to do. So you really have to think of, like, you have to level up two champions. But if we play Aerophant and play, like, two of those, and we level up one champion, then we only need nine more turns. Um, and, you know, like, games definitely go nine turns. So, you know, that makes that a lot more realistic, especially for playing against some slower anti-aggro decks. So I wanted to, to give that a try. Um, you know, for our first time. And so I was going to, I was thinking about, you know, playing my normal Ascended Sun Disc deck with all three champions. Um, but I've been a little less impressed with Renekton compared to the other two recently. And I think the other two are just going to be easier to level up also for the Sun Disc. So I'm going to just play those other two. And since we don't play, since we're not playing Renekton, um, that kind of frees up some, some s slots for me. Uh, I'm not playing the uh two mana three one rock hopper because we don't really need the roiling sands as much and just you know like a generic three one is you know whatever it's fine but it's not it's not amazing um also renekton at the four mana slot there's a there's just two other really good options at the four mana slot right like we have sand spinner we got golden ambassador so like we have other great options there at the four mana slots so we could play a couple more of those since we're not playing um renekton uh let's see so yeah, so that's that's what we're going to that's what we're going to do. We're going to try this. Um, yeah, let's get to it. So Azir Nasus, we'll play our five games in ranked. And there we go. Slower deck, Demacia Targon. Told you lots of people are playing Demacia Targon right now. Nothing about this hand I dislike, so I guess I'm gonna keep it all. We can kind of see like what the game, how the game plays out, whether. Um, like which one of these four mana cards we want to play. So I believe on turn three, if I don't play this Sun Disk, I can save my spell mana turn one, turn two for the quicksand on the Zoe and block with the Zero on turn three. But I, I would assume that on turn three that they would just open attack with the Zoe. They wouldn't let me um, play a unit first before. Yeah, like they would just open attack. So that wouldn't really happen. But perfect start for them. Turn one Zoe. And then also Mountain Goat, just the, the perfect start. We'll see if we can catch up. The Sand Spinner is quite good against Zoe though. A little surprised they didn't block with the Mountain Goat to grab another gem, but I guess maybe they just don't want the gem in hand. That's possible. There, because that's yeah. I guess yeah, because then that would just be too many cards. Shining gifts from the sky. Let me hear you call our emperor's name. We hit the allegiance. Got pretty lucky there. Mm. 
It's not the best trade for this hand spinner. Not the best trade. Our penance is to serve, curator. You serve the Empire. I am but your guide. So they have a full hand. Ten cards. Fall to pieces. I want to attack because of putting some a unit into play for Azir, right? Like that's why I want to attack. I I'm not gonna attack here because of Hush. If they would have tapped under Hush, I you know would have probably attacked, but not going to. We wear red to honor the fallen. Yeah, I hope we get Emperor's deck one of these one of these games. I really hope so. So if I play any of my units, I cannot quicksand and ride a negation. Oh, so they don't have a dragon. They didn't behold a dragon. Let me hear you call our Emperor's name. Jurinus, I have waited millennia to hear your cheers. I think I'm going to save my spell man over playing this Preservarium. We got plenty of cards. You try my patience. Yeah, I think we save spell mana. Hey, what's up, Mr. Frappa? What's up? Joining the stream for the first time. Thanks, thanks for joining. Thanks for heading, you know, coming on over here. Happy to have you here. Out here, you're moving or you're dead. This is gonna be a, a good close game. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. I'm not sure what I want to do. I do kind of want to keep up right negation. I think I'm just gonna pass. Okay, so they do behold a dragon now. I'm still worried about um, Hush. Obliterate. They save that perfectly. All right, I think I just skip this. I mean, I, I could take a siphoning strike and and you know, well maybe siphoning strike's not so bad. It's good on the ruin runner. I guess that's that's better than a random card in the deck. It's not a champion, right? Like I want it. I want one of our champions. I'm down to seven. Something to remember. Three cards in hand. Yeah, this, this could definitely be me me being too greedy, but they didn't do anything else to protect from Siphon Strike the previous turn besides just that one single combat, so I was, I was hoping they didn't have anything else. And spinner. So very scary because they have a big celestial, and so if, 
if that big celestial is really good. I'm glad that they just passed. To me, I was very happy about that. So I need to just, if I just find a Zier, we basically level, you know, like we level up our Sun Disk. No Azir. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. Don't really need any of those. One star's whoopsie is another spark. Out of the way! Who's with me? I do need to clear up some, some board space, right? Like I want to play like Prize of Air Hammer. So by doing this uh, on the 5-4, it makes our attacks with everything else a lot better. So what's that Celestial they grab? The, the 5, or like the 7 plus mana Celestial card. Because it's probably something pretty great. Ugh. <laughs> we played three Golden Ambassadors, all three have drawn Nasus. Okay, so that's what it was. They wanted to destroy my Sun Disk. They're definitely worried about Azir. Unfortunately, I do not have Azir. That's two one doing. Okay, that makes sense. Not here, not now. The cycle begins anew. All right, Noah's ear. Not gonna let them hush Nasus and kill Nas, you know, kill Nasus with the hush. But all right, they didn't have a, they didn't have a hush anyway. We grow wiser with each victory. There we go, just the old-fashioned 1919. All right, another Targon deck. See, we're now in slow metagame. We were in aggro metagame to start with. Now we're in slow metagame this week. Ruin on our spell shield looks pretty cool. Again, I like Sand Spinner against Zoe. No Zoe, please. Just pass. All right, that makes our life better. No Zoe. Of course, Targon is the region that does have the ability to find landmark removal fairly easily. I fight with my spirit, not my fists. The desert by my side. All right, so we lose a 2-1, deal 6 damage. May end up being that just dealing that 6 damage was, you know, really unnecessary, but at least that Eye of the Dragon is now a 1-1 instead of a 2-1. All right, I think I just go Preservarium over Chronomancer. I, well, let's see. Chronomancer allows me to attack with Chronomancer next turn. Yeah, I guess we'll just do that. Because getting, like, sheer card advantage is usually better early on in the game, because it doesn't really matter exactly what you have, but the more cards you have, the better. But then later on in the game, you're usually looking for, like, a specific card, and so having to predict later is usually better. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. But the fact that this puts a body into play and allows us to attack with that, I think is going to break the tiebreaker for me. I don't really want to use Sand Spinner on these things. So I guess I won't. Men die, but Sharima lives forever. Playing Azir so it can summon a Sand Soldier. Sand and blood. Believe or burn. Our son. Okay, so I'm ahead right now, but they got Veil Temple. And their deck is used to being from behind, right? Like, that's, like, their deck is usually pretty comfortable being behind. 
yeah, this card is an all-star. This was a, a main reason why I didn't really, why I chose the other two champions over Renekton as well, because you just have, you know, you have Sand Spinner and Golden Ambassador, which are both all-stars. You just don't really need, you know, more four mana units. Um, Out here, you're moving or you're dead. That's eight. Hoping that's Karma. Hmm. Unfortunate. Pretty sure this just gets through spell shield. I'm pretty sure. What is gained when you return malevolence? We will try. Observe the price of ambition. Yep. Out of the way. The order is given. All right, is your levels up? I could have done that first and had exhaust right here, but I did want to keep the ride negation available at the time. Shoot the 5 3? Oh, shooting the spell shield. That old trick again. Breathe in, breathe out. Night falls. I'll just pass. If they want to let me to go to attacks, so that'd be cool with me. I could just play like Sand Spinner first if I want. Um, Nasus first would then be where you kind of have to worry about Hush a little bit. At long last I don't know, maybe I just put, put it out there, you know, force them to use like Concussive Palm and that kind of stuff. Okay. So we're going to exhaust. You. This too shall end. I guess I could make it so they can't block Nasus. But they probably have, like, pale. I, all they have to do is play spells, actually, and then they start growing stuff, so. That doesn't work as well. Alright, kill you. Destiny calls. What? Thank you. I turn it like so. Who's with me? Probably waste of attacker, but Yeah, so they did have hush, alright, so force them to use hush. And we'd still kill this thing. Oh, 
order rewards its faithful. Okay. So our Nasus grows again. Love it. They can't ha like how many hushes are they gonna have? Three. <laughs> so hopefully they don't draw all three. Pass. I will play my part. You try my patience. You wanna let NASA strike? What do you think? Okay, there's a stun card. I'm gonna say uh, nope. What else they got? All right, no more hush. There we go. Dude, quicksand is awesome. All right, Emperor's deck, first time ever. First time ever. I've played against a lot of people to get Emperor's deck. I've never gotten gotten it before. The sun just rises and the sun Let's go. I've literally never drawn an Emperor's card before. <laughs> Finally, it's been this has been out for like a month. I've played like seven different decks. Ooh. All right. Well. Oh, we get the we get the little bug there, the little beetle. The Scarab. All right, Eternal Glad. I'm gonna have to read all these cards. <laughs> so an exact copy of an ally. It's a femoral draw card. When I'm summoned, draw one. Round end. The strongest enemy and I strike each other. Could just open attack. Wow. Dude, these cards are sweet. Oh, this is burst. Are you kidding me? This thing is burst speed. I just expected that to be slow. That thing's burst? Are you kidding me? We'll go with our two two fearsome 23-23 spell shields. With also all their things get minus six, minus zero, so they can't possibly block. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Dang. That thing's burst? LOL. Alright, Jarvan Chen. This is a sweet deck. Our quicksands are going to be very important for getting rid of Barrier. I am going to Mulligan, Ruin Runner, and the Strike, and the Ride Negation. Ride Negation is great against the fight spells and like rallies and like the Barrier. But I just don't want to start with a bunch of expensive cards in hand, I don't think. Are y'all proud of me? I haven't done the I haven't done the hey look how lucky we are drawing the sun disc on turn one joke yet today. Are y'all proud? <laughs> the desert by my side. Even though we have gotten pretty lucky and, and had this. Has anybody seen the Sun Disc in their opening hand or mulliganed and seen Sun Disc? Because I've played a lot of Sun Disc games and I have never seen that yet still. And so basically, is that possible? Can you have Sun Disc in your like I've never even had that before. Dang, I want all of these. I don't know if like Azir is that awesome for us to have before it's leveled up. To be honest, I let's take a Nessus. Azir's command. Strike, we will reform. Super Z asks, would you ever run Sun Disk in a non Sharima only list? And I, I feel like, yeah, I feel like you still probably could, because you know it really just requires like two champion level ups, you know, of the Ascended Champions. Okay. 
So theirs was going to die anyway. This is a, a pretty good trade for me, right? Like, so they were going to... Um, like, if they didn't do anything, they were still going to draw their spell. But basically, they just saved two life and killed my 2-1 and, and got rid of a single combat. Single combat is an incredibly good card, right? Like, it's it's really difficult to deal with. Like, like it's, it's just a really good good spell to, like, kill stuff very efficiently. And so, like, having that only kill, like, my little 2-1 that I really don't care about. I'm very happy with that. And there we go. I like 3-7 and 0 better. So that was that was kind of some of my thinking of, like, choosing Na Nasus with a Predict meant that there would be three Azirs and two Nasus left in my deck as far as Golden Ambassador is concerned. So more likely that we would find larger Azir at that point. Let's, uh, let's ruin a runner. Yeah, we got pretty lucky not, you know, hitting that Allegiance. Been getting real lucky today. So is Repost likely? I think I'm okay with Repost. I turn it like so. Who's with me? I'll stop you. Okay, to sharp sight. Okay, yeah. I'm fine with that. Again, that's not repost on like these these more important things, right? Like repost again, very valuable spell. The spell shield unit isn't the best against barriers to begin with. So I have, I'm satisfied for how this game has gone so far. That doesn't mean that we're gonna win. I'm just saying, satisfied how it's gone so far. Shurima never fell. It only awaited my return. The three seven's probably safe. Consider I'm holding quicksand. Okay, so the the bigger Azir, why I was saying why that mattered, why is because of like challengers, right? Especially like the challenger dragon and things like that and repose. Like I thought the that the one Um that like the one five Azir was a little vulnerable. I'll just use that quicksand because they just used a bunch of guards on that. I kind of feel like their their plan was single combat. Like, I think they have a single combat in hand right now. I think they were planning on, you know, having that deal damage with the barrier and then single combat. That's what would make the most sense. All right, so you're at six. So seven, eight. Attacking is nine, and then I can lead with, I can play another one of these for ten. Let's go with the sand spinner on this thing. I guess I could play the Chronomancer first and level up Azir first. It would just only be like one additional point of attack on this thing. I guess it would be one additional point of attack on the Azir as well. But I wouldn't, because I like I wouldn't attack with the Chronomancer. So I kind of might as well like see what happens in combat and everything first before my predict. It would have been one, one extra point of damage. But yep, there we go. Got there. The opponent kind of used their spells a little early. Okay, we got Zoe, Aurelian Soul with Freljord. So they're going with like the all the Freljord sweepers and stuff like that. And then like this could be like a Targon's Peak deck. Even. They're probably going real big like that. Uh, I guess I'm all getting asses. Always on disc. See what we see. So that, of course, means another. Another Zoe in hand. Or not. I guess it could mean sweepers. I want to play the Sun Disc. Nothing? I think next turn I'm going to, what, exhaust this O2 to kill it? And then play, like, what, Preservarium? I can go another Preservarium. Maybe just go exhaust Sun Disc. Next turn. 
gonna skip. I don't, want to you up. I don't really know what I want. But I do want to kill this. See what I've learned? Don't hate it. From Saikal to Kalamanda, we stand together. Yep, Pearly Road Sweepers. Is Zoe a really insulin? My name will echo through the ages. Alright, so we're at six. Count them down, count them down. It's the final countdown. No Targon's Peak yet. You would give me the allegiance of your city. You have given us something to believe in. Hmm. Wanted right negation. We're at seven. Let me hear you call our emperor's name. I have waited millennia to just holding exhaust, exhaust, quicksand. I know, like that, they can use, you know, removal spells on this stuff now. But we just have all these cards that kind of reward us for playing stuff before attacking. You know, force their hand, right? Put pressure on the defense. Okay. I could also pass, and they waste all that mana. Could that be a thing to do? Probably not. We'll see what they do here. Why would they not do that before attacking? Why don't they just do that first? Did have the peak. Maybe I should have passed. I really thought about just passing, but you know, nine. It's it's tough passing on nine damage. <laughs> we haven't slayed anything yet. Take the chill off. All right, so that thing caused zero. Hmm. I was so ah. Uh, should just play the sand spinner. I would have leveled that up. Just played the sand spinner. We stand in the footprints of past long time. We'll level up Nasus here. So that should turn Nasus into 12 power, and they're up 14. Or no, it gets the plus 2, plus 2 also, so 14 power. Well, that's convenient. Oh, but it doesn't get that plus 3, plus 1 that I just had on it. No. Alright, just attack for 11. If only mortals were not driven by avarice and hatred. They will learn just as we did. Wrong order. Should have dealt 12 damage. That should be a 2. If these were ruthless predators, and gave plus 2, plus 0. Alright, so they still have, they have two awesome celestial cards still, unfortunately. Let's go. Let's go. Aerophant. Dude, I, they may have been holding like the nine mana, you know, like obliterate landmark card. 
not expecting the surprise. I mean, even if I just had an Azir, though, like, Azir would have leveled it up also, but... Aerophant! Let's go! Alright, that thing's not very big. Let's kill this thing, though. So if I just play the Azir, we get the Emperor's deck, I suppose, right? They think themselves cultured. Emperor's deck? Because we get like a, a full three-part movie here, right? You need not follow, but you come. Yep. My destiny awaits. So there's the two towers. Ah, oh, we only get the two-part movie. <laughs> Burst. Ridiculous. My, how they stare. Summon draw card. Play and round start, summon two sand soldiers. Alright, that'll do. Dubs Nasus. Dude, our deck is sweet. Ooh. What do you think would be hard to play against with this deck? I think like the like burn, right? Like your Noxus PNZ burn. We're probably a little slow for that. Um, but I wasn't expecting as much. You know, I was expecting more like the slower decks, and we're doing really well against them. Frostbite decks are just always great against everything. I, I think this could be tough for sure. Because Frostbite plays Culling Strike, like that kills Azir. I think this is gonna I think this is gonna be a tough matchup too. As far as the mid-range decks go, this is probably our toughest. Alright, anyway, we're gonna mulligan our hand. Noctis Frost with that Twitch Prime resub for the fifth month going for the 5-0. Also, perfect synergy. Thank you, Noctis Frost. I appreciate that. This was a good mulligan. And that's what happens whenever we get a subscriber, right? We got Noctis Frost subbed to the channel, and therefore we got this good luck with this good mulligan. Got to get that sub luck. Quicksand would be good against Reckoning, but that, that's like... In a ways, and like if we had like other like good early stuff, I I like quicksand. I, I like quicksand a lot. I would because this this matchup should be about attacking and blocking. A but the fact that like I just didn't have anything else to keep, and so I didn't want to keep quicksand as my only card. And then we you know like mulligan into like ride negations and expensive stuff, and you know like that kind of thing. But if I would have had like like a good unit or two early, I definitely would have kept quicksand because yeah, quicksand's good in this matchup. Yes. Smoke and mirrors. My move. You need not follow, but you will witness. Let me hear you call our Emperor's name. Jerimans, I have waited millennia to hear your cheers. I mean, they could still have Brittle Steel or Elixir of Iron and not just want to use them on a 2-1, right? Like, if I if I had their hand and if I had Brittle Steel or Elixir of Iron, I wouldn't just have Glory Seeker challenge a 2-1 and then waste that valuable spell on a 2-1 necessarily. Yeah. That's what I was talking about, how it wasn't a great... This isn't a great Azir matchup because Cooling Strike. But we got Cooling Strike out of their hand. Still trade even on mana, 3-for-3. Three three. They got to use spell mana, which is less valuable than unit mana, but... Still mana. And see, there's there's the Brittle Steel. So like I said, just just because they didn't use Brittle Steel last turn doesn't mean they didn't have it in hand. Alright, so this is not going very well for me these last two turns. Definitely wish I had Quicksand about now. To see me. Yeah, this this looks like they got this. Frostbite's good against Nasus. Spears ready. The 
Lessonen. So I, I think lesson is, I guess I probably should have just kept the quicksand. The quicksand would have allowed us to kill LeBlanc on turn three. And maybe this was a, oh no, I guess it would not have because they would have had Brutal Steel, so we wouldn't have killed, so we would have wasted the quicksand. Ruin Runner would be good if Ruin Runner could could block. Out of the way. I'm hoping this forces them to block with one of these two. I would I would happily trade with either. I'm playing Ruinous Path. Gotta watch out for Ruinous Path. I gotta block. I think there's a zero percent chance my opponent plays the card Shunko. Not worried about it one bit. Alright, so it destroys a mana gem. Would have liked to play Preservarium <clears throat> over Doomkeeper, but we got to uh, just get the blocker. Yeah, yeah, people have definitely played Jumpo in this deck. I wish we didn't have to destroy a mana gem. I wish I had nine mana. I could play Azir and this thing and Shapestone. So they just use, like, what, Troll Chant Stay Alive? So they have to have, like, Troll Chant and then Frostbite Spell. Probably makes sense to play Azir. Yeah, so, like... Yeah, so basically how it works is, like, I attack like this, they troll chant to buff up the, the health so they don't take lethal overwhelm, and then also do the minus two on my Rune Runner to get rid of the spell shield. So then I have to shape stone for it to be lethal, and then they use a Frostbite spell, like a Harsh Winds or a, you know, Ash Champion spell or anything like that. And then I'm, if that happens, then I'm just kind of dead. And then I have, I have basically nothing. So I think instead I'm going to just start with this Azir. Which can threaten to be two more lethal attackers. Shurima never fell. It only awaited my return. Okay, that's that's mana that's spent not staying alive, so that's good. Winter take you. That's bad. Out of the way. All are measured. Effort. There was the troll chant. Now they have to have a card to get rid of the spell shield and a card to frostbite also. So I feel pretty good about this now that we got the, that troll chant out of their hand. So yeah, like they, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the open attack was the wrong play, and I think that we did good by not open attacking. My life for Avarosa. These are our lands. It's, it's not over though, like they can have, like they need, they need like Ash's champion spell, they need that card, um, and they need another troll chant. Are you certain? Flash freeze, they need flash freeze and troll chant. Okay, so if they block over there, that's pretty smart, that's a good block. Because now they only, they only need just a frostbite spell on as on this good block good block still gonna force them to have it yep they had the flash freeze yeah good play opponent Because the, the troll chant made that not a lethal attacker anymore. And then we had to use the spell. And then they got to Frostbite. So yeah, that was a uh, great play. Uh, 
Oh, I need one more mana. Gosh, that destroy a mana. It's really hurt us. We need some quicksands. Why couldn't these two have been switched? Because, yeah, all they have to do is attack. It's lethal. <laughs> See? Or they do that slow spell. Give me the chance to get a blocker out here. But they probably they have a ton of mana and a ton of cards. They can just play some more attackers. I would assume. So maybe oh I can't I don't have a mana for siphoning strike. You would give me the allegiance of your city. You have given us something to believe in. I don't really know how we can survive this. Right? I don't know what those five cards could possibly be that we don't die. Right, and we already know that they have that card, so that just kills me. Alright, they played that perfectly. Good job, opponent. GG's. Oh well, no 5-0 for us. That's unfortunate. They uh, they played very well. They had, you know, good hand, both champions, and lots and lots of really good interaction spells. Like, that Brittle Steel was clutch. Um, and then, of course, you know, that last turn, having the Ice Fill Archer, Troll Chant plus flash freeze all that together that was that was perfect so you know hats off good games we uh it took so it took a lot you know we had a, a really good really good run with our deck this is zero nasus uh, was definitely fun to play we got to do the emperor's deck multiple times first time ever so super excited about that that was awesome and uh yeah i really liked playing this deck um the Aerophant did good, you, right? Like, it, it actually, that advanced Sun Disc three rounds mattered a couple of times. So, you know, we're basically playing this card over the Xenotype Researchers, which is the card that I've always played in this deck before. I want to try the Aerophant instead. It gets that extra point of health. I liked it. I liked it. Um, Quicksand was just an all-star, like usual. Ride of Negation was awesome. Siphoning Strike was awesome. Didn't miss Spirit Fire. Um, I could see getting rid of the Spirit Fire and playing another Quicksand, but if you do play against like the fast aggro decks that go wide, your Noxus decks and stuff like that, like you may need the Spirit Fire. So we still have the one in there right now, but Quicksand just always is like performs so well. Uh, I could see maybe even going to like two, maybe two exhaust three Quicksand, maybe. But Shapestone was awesome. Yeah, I, I really liked our list. I think I think that uh, this list worked really well for like our updated metagame and everything. I think that not playing Rockhopper was good, not playing Renekton, right? I think like these champions did more. Rockhopper usually just kind of, you know, is whatever, it dies super easily. Um, I was I was happy to not have Rockhopper in my deck and, and just kind of have, um, you know, have three of this Aerofan, three Ambassador, three Sand Spinner, like these cards in my mid game I was very happy with. All right, so there we go. So that's Azir Nasus. Good chance this was our best deck of the day, <laughs> you know, but we'll see with our other ones. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Hopefully y'all enjoyed watching some Sharima uh, get some wins, right? So a lot of people have been saying that Sharima's a little too weak, but hopefully we're showing that, no, not so weak, because we beat multiple Demacia Targon decks, and that's, a, that's big, right? Like, Demacia Targon is, like, the kind of the king of the... Uh, the mid-range control decks right like your your uh, mid-range or slash control decks that like are trying to play the long game and you know we did good against multiple versions of those decks so good showing here for azir nasus all right anyway those of y'all watching on youtube also hit that like button over there and of course leave those comments let me know what you think of the deck hopefully y'all enjoyed it if you you know, want a good mono sharima deck hopefully y'all try it out and let me know in the comments how it's been going for you if you do uh, get around to trying it out. Love to see love to see that. All right, but that's all I got here for this deck. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.